This episode is brought to you by the letter I for ingenuity. <laughs> Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's Throwback Thursday, episode two, and we are continuing efforts to bring back the RC-10. This is an original RC-10, an editor unit from what I've been able to discover on the internet. Much thanks to RC-10 Talk, a really great forum full of lots of knowledgeable members. And I've had a ton of folks reach out and actually help me and send me parts, which is so amazing. I cannot thank you all enough for doing that. There are some pretty vintagey things on this car and it's getting harder and harder to find all the parts needed to make this thing work. Of course, because this thing was made in like 1980 something, it's been a very long time since uh, there's been anything released. And uh, going through the manual, which I have right here, has been, uh, you know, eye-opening. <laughs> there were some interesting solutions. Uh, not a lot of bearings were used. Oil light uh, bushings, I think, was what they used more frequently in these cars back in the day. Uh, now, thanks to Fast Eddie Bearings, uh, who have quite handily put together a Team Associated RC10 Classic Sealed Bearing Kit uh, which really helps in the overall construction of this vehicle, makes things a lot smoother and a lot more efficient. Um, so what you're seeing here now is essentially the completed chassis. There's a few more elements that still need to be put on, mostly because I don't have them yet. Uh, and uh, what is here is a great example of all original parts, except for a few things and you're probably seeing them right away. Uh, there are some 3D printed elements here. The steering that was on this car originally, and I don't know if you remember, uh, it was kind of makeshift and kind of, you know, home brew to fix what was probably a more common problem on the RC-10 and that's how the steering servo mounts to the chassis, which in these old cars was just servo tape, <laughs> which is pretty crazy, I have to say. Uh, so this new steering setup here, this is going to uh, correct all of those problems uh, and hopefully we'll find a nice good solid way of mounting. You can see that there are a couple holes in the chassis here. Um, that's probably where the servo is going to end up going. And uh, now that these are in here, uh, it's going to be a much more efficient steering setup. I still need to get some turnbuckles. Uh, I've tried to use the original turnbuckles everywhere I can. Uh, a lot of them here in the rear are original and this one's pretty bent out of shape. But, you know, I, I did put in a call to my contact at Team Associated to see if they've got any of these parts just lying around. Uh, maybe in a cardboard box behind the furnace. <laughs> that would be my first place to look. Uh, one of my viewers sent me this cool CRP aftermarket rear bumper, which I thought looked really neat and super vintage. It's also, uh, it was original in its original packaging, which I have right here, actually. Uh, Team CRP Racing products, uh, custom racing products, and uh, made in England but from California, I guess. Quality, the difference between fun and frustration. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, very cool that one of my uh, viewers sent me that. It's a nice looking piece, ties in nicely with the rest of the white uh, plastic on the, tr on the car. Uh, all the new uh, hardware here is from RC Screws. They make a nice replacement collection, so there is that as well. I did my best to clean everything. The cleaning, was a long and arduous process and wasn't fun at all. It was gross. There was so much grime and so much oil and dirt all over all of these parts. Uh, it was a lot of deep cleaning. I used my Sonic cleaner, I used uh, Simple Green, I used Simple Dish Soap and a scrubbing brush and a toothbrush to get all of that dirt off of here because I wanted it to be clean but original. So uh, that's what we've got going on there. Uh, one of the other cool parts that uh, one of my viewers sent me was these awesome knockoff uh, wheel nuts. These are for display purposes only, according to um, the, uh, the manual. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'll probably put real nuts on there for when I run this for the first time. Um, 
People have also told me don't run these tires. Uh, they're very, very original vintage uh, with the Goodyear stamp on them. Um, but I don't know, man. I mean, I bought this car to run it. So let's run it, right? Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, transmission went together flawlessly. It was actually in really, really, really good shape. Uh, I don't think this car was run a ton, and you can tell by uh, looking at the underside. There's not a lot of abuse going on there. It's actually pretty clean overall, which is really, really nice to see. Um, so I don't think it was run a ton, uh, and it wasn't run hard when it was run. So it's in pretty decent shape overall. Battery tray's still there. There's a bit of a notch cut out of it, which is kind of annoying. Um, but otherwise, pretty clean, pretty much complete, except for a few turnbuckles. Uh, the right hand side or passenger side steering block uh, wasn't included. There was some like random uh, other steering block put on there. So uh, this is what I've got on there for now. Uh, 3D printed from Thingiverse. Again, um, just very lucky that I found that piece actually, because I don't, th I don't think it's. Uh, something that I'll be able to find new old stock. We'll see. Um, but if I do, and I know that some of my viewers have already contacted me about that, uh, hopefully we'll get a replacement piece uh, and then we can build the rest of that front uh, axle stub and be done with the front and uh, that'll be good. I think that's probably it um, for now anyway. There's a lot more to come of course and uh, oh, I should actually show you the body that I got. This is an associated Mirage body. It's not an original. Uh, it's from a company called Penguin Racing Products. And they, it's obviously a repop. It looks like uh, they did like a resin cast of the original body and then vacuum formed a bunch of other ones. Uh, but it's close enough. It's a cool looking body. And I think it'll be a nice match for the vintage kind of era that I'm going for with this car. Uh, yeah, I've got no ideas on how to paint this body whatsoever. So if you've got any ideas, by all means, post them down below in the comments. I'm looking for something kind of vintage, kind of cool, uh, something that's kind of representative of the era, but with a modern touch. So if you've got any ideas, post them down below. And of course, if you're liking this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. So yeah, uh, things are progressing really nicely. I'm really pleased with uh, how much this car can be original. Uh, it's pretty amazing, I have to say, for something as old as this is, to be in such decent condition. And uh, I'm really excited to take it to that next step and start working on the shocks. Uh, those need a lot of cleaning and rebuilding. Uh, get to the electronics and hide everything because I still want to hide everything in this cool old Futaba receiver box. I think that would be so amazing to hide the ESC and a receiver all in there and still have it placed somewhere in the vehicle in its you know like original place to kind of really complete the look and keep it looking vintage. So that would be really cool to do too. My thanks, of course, to all of the people who have been so generous and so kind in sending me parts. It really means a lot and it makes building this car so much easier when you've got new old stock. Uh, it's pretty amazing and I'm really chuffed by all of your uh, help. So thank you and keep it coming. If you've got any parts or you've got anything you think might make this work, by all means post a little comment down below. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. A quick one, but I just wanted to share an update with you and show you that there has been some progress made on the RC10 rebuild. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>